that's philosophically different time right now in headache medicine. That's been fantastic in my clinic every day when I can say, oh, you can take a little bit more Japant for a sneezy treatment of headache. We do have Remedjipant, which actually approved not only for acute treatment, but for preventive. It's been wonderful to say, I actually don't think that this medication will cause rebound to this medication overuse issue. And so please take it as soon as you feel that migraine attack coming on. So it's totally different philosophy and it's such a happy place to be. And right before American Academy of Neurology meeting this year, in March, we got another Japan. It will be first nasal spray. It's called the Vegipan. And uh, we're looking forward to more tools to offer to our patients. It's uh, very important to have something to prevent more migraine attacks, but also something to stop migraine attack. It put patient in control. And uh, we use headache diary for that. We're trying to figure out what work, what maybe has to be changed. Uh, and a patient-centered approach is so beneficial. So I listen to my patients and if they say, oh, this, this treatment was the best for me and I didn't have side effect, but this maybe I feel a little bit more um, taste change or something they didn't like, it's wonderful to offer alternatives. So the FDA approved for acute treatment of migraine uh, now we do have Japan, which FDA approved for preventive treatment of migraine, which is a Japan only for preventive. They just got approval for chronic migraine management. So they were approved for episodic. Episodic migraine is less than 15 days a month of headache. But right before meeting, and that was another update I put in my slides, and I was so excited about it. So it's great. They just got approval, another indication for chronic migraine. So a Togepan uh, preventive management. And then we have Remedjipan, Ubrojipan, which approved for acute, Remedjipan approved for acute and preventive. And now we will have the Vegipan, <laughs> uh, hopefully coming up soon, not on the market yet, um, but we will use it as nasal spray. I am um, perfectly aware that things which sprayed in the nose might be real quick. Uh, I am very big and very happy to offer to the patients uh, different medications through uh, the nose, actually. Um, example would be newer form of DHE. DHE was used in the past for very long time. History goes to 1940s. Uh, I put in my slides wonderful um, historical moments. Uh, Dr. Raskin developed three-day protocol for um, IV DHE, so infusion of DHE treatment. And then excellent article by Dr. Godsby talking about total dose of infusion matter and amazing article published by him in Journal of Neurologist in 2011 about five-day protocol. So people in research keep working on that. And then now we have this DHE spray delivered by special model, it's called POD, P -O -D. and uh, really bioavailability is such a good that many people can now avoid injections and infusions of this DHE and get benefit. Uh, the thing about DHE and limitation of DHE that we cannot uh, give it to people with heart problems or people who predispose to stroke or had stroke because it's 
scan narrow vessels. And because of that, I um, am so grateful to have lasmiditan. So that's another excellent whole class of medications which we recently got into headache medicine. So it, as opposed to triptans and as opposed to DHE, we don't think that it's narrow vessels. And we offering it to the patients for acute management of migraine attacks um, when we don't want any effect on narrowing of the vessels. So we have so many things to discuss. It's super exciting.